I, I think everybody knows the breast uh, destiny uh, zero four study. It's a study basically comparing uh, uh, TDXD trastuzumab drug and comparing to uh, treatment uh, physician choices, and we know that they have a fantastic efficacy improvement, and also the toxicity is quite in a reasonable phase. So, I think this study that we're pre uh, we're presenting is. Uh, focusing on patient reported outcome and patient reported outcome is really giving a patient's perspective uh, with a balance between efficacy and toxicity. So the study already included to do a PRO survey and we did a three uh, basically validated questionnaires and what we have shown from this study is uh, quality of life is quite well maintained while receiving TDXD. Of course, uh, chemotherapy they maintain quite well also. However, uh, but the primary, what we call the global health uh, status, uh, the time to deter definitive time to deterioration is much longer in the TDXD compared to the regular chemotherapy that patient received in, in this study. And it, when you actually look into the subset of the toxicity, uh, most of the symptoms, including particularly like, uh, not side effect, but uh, like pain was a, there was a dramatic improvement. The hazard ratio was about 0 0.4. Uh, as you know, the TDXD has a lot of, uh, uh, could have a lot of nausea. So uh, the concern always has been that is this going to really deteriorate over the course of the treatment? And we did notice that at cycle three and cycle five, there is worsening on the TDXD side, but it didn't really last. So what I'm trying to say is that overall, the toxicity such as nausea was stable over the course of the treatment. So really what it confirms is that uh, we know that efficacy is uh, quite good on the TDXD side and a patient is uh, also feeling that way. So it gives us a confidence for the practitioner to use this drug in the setting of low HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer.